Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Abhishek Nittal, and I lead a team of data scientists and operational experts. Uh, so that puts me in a unique position to talk about today's topic of uh, challenges in AI adoption and how to overcome them. So in my view, there are three sort of key ones, there are many. Um, the first one is um, the, how do you start about the AI journey, right? So of, of course, the domain experts, the three roles, domain experts, the data scientists who's, uh, who's building the model. And then there's a third role, which we have brought in, which has really helped us, is this role of a translator role um, or design thinker role, which basically uh, brings in uh, these two teams together. And rather than inserting AI in various points of uh, the process, existing process, just for automation, you really bring in and sort of uh, think of the new process with AI as part of the core value proposition. And that has really helped us uh, to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So I think that's learning number one. Learning number two is the incentive structure, right? So you cannot, the success criteria for the data science team cannot be build the model, high, up, high precision and recall and that's it. No, if that is the case, the operational team and AI team will not work well together. So we put them two in the box and the outcome is the business outcome, be it the savings metric, compliance metric, or whatever the successful metric of that AI project is. So that's important, having the right incentive structure and focus on that rather than your internal uh, team metrics. Um, and the third one is the trust. Uh, now, AI solutions, um, uh, you know, mature with experience as more data pumps in. So there's a, it's not a standard output every time, right? It sort of learns. And how do you make sure that people trust it, trust in, in the solution and respect it? And that's tricky. Uh, so one thing that we did, which worked for us was we reverse the situation, right? So the experts is always the one giving feedback to the model. We actually reversed it where we said, okay, let the reviewer do it first and the machine uh, will do it as a QA. And then those cases where there's a lack of alignment between the expert and the uh, model, let's review them together. And uh, we identified cases where the experts were missing things which the AI was capturing. And that helped reinforce uh, in uh, the domain experts, the respect and trust in AI. Uh, 